Hi! In this video, let me show you one of the animations from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. Here we show three stored pieces of information. The information belongs to client 1, client 2 and client 3 and then on a click we show the details about client 1. Then on a click you can see that the client 1's detail is put back inside the draw and then we have client 2's information shown and then we have the third draw shown while the second draw closes and then on a click we close the third draw. So that is how we show the information that belongs to three different clients. It's a very useful and fun way to show three pieces of information. Let me show you how to create this from scratch. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium PowerPoint templates to help you make presentations that are beautiful and engaging. I'll show you how to create a prototype of just two draws. Once you understand the basic idea, you can create as many draws as you want. First, let us create the basic draw. Go to shapes, pick up the rectangle tool and let us create the lid and then let us create a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl D and then place it right below the first one and then extend this a little further. So this will be labeled as say client 1. Let me choose a much thicker font. Maybe I can choose Amasis MT Pro Black and then increase the font size. So that looks beautiful. I'm going to add a little bit of a handle here. For that, once again, I'm going to take the same rectangular shape, press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then hold the shift button down to resize it. Yeah, that is a good enough size. I'm going to keep it over here and then let us have the shape fill as a white color and then let us remove the outline and I'm going to increase the size of the handle a little bit and that is beautiful. So we've got our first box created. Let us select this handle and the box and press Ctrl G to create a group. The next step is to create a rectangular box and then write your text regarding client 1. This is a fairly simple process. I'm sure you know how to do this. Now I'm going to place this right on top of the previous one and make sure that the bottom of this aligns with the top edge of a box that we had shown here. So you can see that this is where it aligns. So we have got our client details, the box for client. Now it is time for us to add some animation. First, I'm going to have this bottom portion of the draw and let us add an animation and the animation I'm going to use is an emphasis animation. Go to grow shrink animation under emphasis and let us have this grow to 125%. So you can go to the effect options and you can add a custom number. Go here and say this needs to be for 125% and hit enter and then you say OK. And right after that we are going to have this float in. Let us select this and then use a simple float in animation and this is going to be floating in behind this. So let us select this box and then bring it to front and let us have this happen after previous. So I'm going to say this happens after previous and naturally the duration of the previous one is two seconds which is way too much. So we are going to have this maybe for around say one second. Now let us see what happens when I go to slideshow and see the effect we have created. So this is client one. On a click we have the draw opened and we show client details for the first one. Then let us hit escape. Now I'm going to create a duplicate of this. Let us select both of them. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then I'm going to place this right next to the previous one and then let us write this as client 2. Of course you can do whatever that you want here with your text to explain your client details for number 2. I'm going to move this slightly to the right so there is a bit of space between both the client details. So this is neat. Now let us go to slideshow and see what we've got here. On a click we show the details of client 1 which is from the draw and then on a click we show the details of client 2 from inside the draw. Now this doesn't look as impressive. It would be nicer if on opening this we have the earlier one close. So how do we do that? It's very simple. We're going to select the first draw and let us add an animation this time. So let us go to add animation. Once again, let us go to grow shrink animation. 
and let us have this with the same duration as the first one which is for one second and hit enter and let us change the effect options and change the way it shrinks so this time let me go to size i'm going to change the custom size to 80 percent and hit enter beautiful let us say okay and when does this happen it happens exactly while the second one grows so i'm going to keep this right next to the previous one and say with previous and when this closes naturally we need to have the client details also go inside the draw so let us add an exit animation to this so let us go to add animation and let us go to exit option and we are going to use a simple float out animation and this needs to float out to the down and that is the default direction and this happens with previous so let me explain the various animations we have got here on a click we have a grow shrink animation so this draw grows by 125 percent and this one floats in then on the next click we have this draw grow to 125 percent and this one floats in while this grows to 125 percent the previous one shrinks to 80 percent which means it goes back to its natural size and the previous client details are going to vanish with a float out animation so that is what you see here now when i go to slideshow let me see if you have got this right on a click we show the details of client one and we have the information shown beautiful and then on a click we have client two grow in size and you can see that client one's draw goes back to its original size and the paper goes inside the draw isn't that beautiful of course in our comprehensive all-in-one bundle in this template we have done a few more interesting embellishments and give this beautiful look and naturally as an incentive for getting our comprehensive all-in-one bundle you get this kind of a finished product not only this template we have 4500 such interesting thought-provoking and really practical animated powerpoint templates that require less than a few seconds for you to create your slides all you need to do is to pick the right slide of course we have an elaborate training that shows you how to convert your boring text-based slides to clear visual slides using comprehensive all-in-one powerpoint bundle that course comes free and that course alone is worth the price of admission and with that course you will be able to select just the right template to express your ideas and you need to just replace the sample text with your own text and the slide gets ready in no time I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and find more details. And if you are a professional who needs to make a lot of presentations as part of your profession, then this is a very useful resource for you. If you want to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, you can click on the link that you see right now on your screen and join our free course. In that, I share 25 simple and practical PowerPoint ideas that you can use in your next business presentation. So go ahead, click on the link, join our course, and I will see you inside.